Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year's. In the last episode, the sort of in-between episode that I made, I constructed this cylindrical design, um, which is to house the space elevator. So I've put the space elevator in there now, and I've built up the area around the cylinder and beneath it. I've also turned it into my um, uh, main storage area. What I'll do is I'll give you a little tour of everything I've done, a little bit of tidying up as well. Let's jump into fly mode and I'll take you around to see what we've done. Before we had all of these items, so all of the copper items, so cable, uh, copper sheets and wire, that all went into these storage bins over here. We had the concrete going into a storage bin just behind that miner. And then we had, uh, I think it was rotors, reinforced sheets, iron plates, iron rods, they all went into uh, storage containers up here. As you can see now, we've got everything coming down these conveyors and down through the floor and then underneath. So they all now travel along these buses to go to our storage centre, which we'll get to in a second. We also have the uh, silica and the quartz crystals joining this bus. That's going all the way along and into our new storage centre. So in here we've got a few explorers. We've got all of the stuff coming in underneath. So if I let's go underneath. See all the buses come in here. It's not going to be tidy under here. It's just going to be a sorting area but you can see everything comes in. We've also brought in all of our steel products, which comes from the steel area. And that all comes up, all of these item elevators, to go up to our containers. They're all up here. I've still yet to label all of them. As you can see, I've started working through what some of the items we have. From here, you would take the hyper tube up to this floor. That would take us to a storage area. And then you could take another hyper tube from there to the next layer up which would take us to the hub location and then from there you can take another hyper tube up and this takes us up to the space elevator now I'm not going to be feeding the space elevator with uh, conveyors because I just don't feel the need to what I'll be doing is making all the stuff off site and just loading it up by hand if I have to I might bring a drone in just to hang it off of the edge of this just to make it easy, but I don't want to be bringing in conveyors into this area permanently because, well, as you can see, these are the inputs here and it doesn't really end up in a good location in the rest of it. But in the rest of this episode, what we're going to be doing is we could take some of those steel products that we made last time and we're going to be making just a small, tiny factory uh, to make uh, stators and encase industrial beams that is going to go just to the left of our steel factory, just by that big tree plant organism thing just here. And then that will travel along the buses underneath these buses. So I've got a couple of uh, conveyors ready. Crooked one there, we'll sort that out in a minute. But that'll come all along here, under here, and then that will go to the storage area as well. Like I say, that factory, it's just going to pop out just here. I'm going to build it just here. We've already built, um, already brought the uh, materials up that we require. So that comes up here along this bridge over here. And all the materials are just beneath over there. So we've got two uh, limestone nodes and a copper node down just behind that rock. I'm going to get this factory built and uh, see you in a minute.
So I've just finished off this basic uh, factory making stators and encased industrial beams. This factory is producing 20 stators a minute and 18 stators a minute. Uh, not 18 stators. 18 encased industrial beams. Just gone with a basic box factory for this one because this area is going to be very temporary. Um, this building to the left, I will be keeping this. But uh, for the time being, well, when I do eventually expand, I'll just be um, overclocking all the machines and upgrading all the lines. And this building here will probably get a lot, lot bigger because uh, 20 stators, 18 encased industrial beams is not going to be enough. So I've got my encased industrial beams coming down this conveyor here. And I've got my stators coming down this conveyor here. They travel along and go along this conveyor bus and this will go back to my central storage. And those stators and encased industrial beams end up here and here. Now that I've made the stators I just need to go about making the automated wiring so that we can launch the uh, space elevator for the next uh, set of uh, so we can unlock the next stage of the game if you like. Um, that is to do the uh, further stages in the hub I'll ship down here. So to get to tiers 5 and 6 we need to launch space elevator phase 2 and that's what we're working on now. So what I'm going to do is just beneath me I'm going to create a, uh, a small factory so that I can, I can make those uh, that automated wiring for the next base elevator part. I'm going to make that small factory just here. It's just a temporary factory, just go off the end of this road. Back in a second. just completed stage two with the space elevator and that has unlocked the ability for me to uh, reach tiers five and six and this is where everything gets really quite interesting because we can do oil processing and this will eventually lead to the uh, power the expanded power where we can use fuel generators a lot more efficient in the next episode we'll be taking some oil from that area and turning it into fuel, plastic and rubber and we're probably making a very small power factory just to deal with that. But that is it for this episode, if you did like please hit the like button and please consider a subscription. Cheers, bye!